Hi, I'm Chris Giles, the Technical Director of Havilar Resources. And today I'd like to highlight for you some of the uh, key points arising from our recent ASX release on the high-grade uh, copper drilling intersections that we got here on the Uranella Dome. It lies about 35 kilometres north of the large Kalkaroo copper gold deposit, which in turn lies about 50 kilometres north of the main highway linking Adelaide to Sydney. Uh, the Uranel Dome lies within a particularly copper-rich part of the Precambrian Kernamona province, which we call the Kernamona Copper Belt. It forms a structural dome, and if you imagine it's like a, a turtle back and uh, with a core and uh, younger rocks dipping off. And it so happens that the central core of the dome uh, is composed of more magnetic rocks. So on this aeromagnetic image, it shows up very clearly uh, here. And you can get an idea of the scale in this bar, 10 kilometres. So the circumference is roughly 25 kilometres around the dome. So we're talking about a large area. This is another representation of the dome, just showing the projection of the football contact, which I'll show you in a cross section in a moment. And you'd think with all these drill holes that it'd be very hard to find anything new here. But in fact, the scale uh, is the key thing, 10 kilometres. And when you look at that, it's actually not a lot of drilling considering the size of the area. And probably the most interesting hole that was drilled was by MMG in joint venture with us back in 2014 and that hole achieved an intersection of almost 10 metres of over 4.5% copper and over a gram gold. And it was in an unusual uh, secondary enriched zone or what we call a transitional zone between the highly weathered rocks above and uh, the primary sulphides below and in that zone of enrichment uh, near the old water table, uh, you had copper deposited in, in high grade uh, secondary copper minerals like chalcosite here, uh, in black, uh, and uh, within secondary pyrite, bedded pyrite here. So we think the water table is quite important in formation of the secondary mineralisation and considering the area has been tectonically very stable for the last tens of millions of years, uh, we projected where that water table might be uh, horizontally an upper and a lower level and in fact we'd like to have drilled a long strike here but the only holes we had cleared from a heritage perspective were over on this west side so we drilled our holes here and we achieved quite a nice intersection this hole 10 32 meters almost 2% copper in very similar uh, secondary enriched uh, rocks in this transitional zone and we think that formed because the primary uh, copper sulphide and gold mineralisation, which lies along this contact between the foot wall unit and the hang wall unit, roughly where this uh, green blue is, uh, above the water table, it uh, was leached and the copper and the gold uh, was carried downwards to below the water table where it deposited and formed this enriched zone, which we got in this drill hole. And you see this hole out here, which is to the east, was too far up dip and too far towards the centre of the dome to hit this. And similarly, this hole out here was really too far to the west and too high up in the hanging wall to ever have a hope of hitting this enriched zone. In fact, although the enriched zone is probably 150, 200 metres wide, it's, you still have to sight the hole very carefully to be fortunate enough to hit it. So we have 25 kilometres of strike around the dome to explore, which is, a, which is an awful, awful lot of drill holes if you're going to test it. And the other aspect you'll see is it's 120 odd metres of barren overburden on top. And we think to mine this deposit, assuming we could find uh, enough economic grade at depth, we might need to borrow some ideas from the uh, coal miners who have very cheap uh, methods of removing soft overburden to get down to the pay dirt. And that could result in a possible mining profile looking something like this. So as always, if you want more information, please check our website or uh, drop me a note on info at Havilar. Until next time, bye-bye.